Welcome to the Laser Channel. I'm your host, Greg, and in this video, I'll show you in five and a half easy steps how to connect the Comgro rotary attachment up to the Comgro Z1 laser machine using a PC and the ever popular Lightburn software. Step one, power everything on and connect to your computer. Step two is to home the machine. Step three is to navigate to the move tab and move the laser off of the home position. Here I'm going to move up 50 millimeters and another 50 millimeters for 100 millimeters total. I'm going to change my move distance to five millimeters and I'm going to move the laser off. The important part here is simply to have the laser off of the homing switches. Step four is to disconnect the Y1 and Y2 connectors from the motors. With the connectors removed from the motors, I can install the rotary attachment in the work area. The rotary attachment connects to the wire connector labeled Y1. Here is a close up of the connector Y1 connected to the rotary attachment. Note the orientation of the rotary attachment inside the tool bed area of the laser machine. Step five, jump back into Lightburn for these three really important steps. Navigate to the console tab and on the command line, we will type in dollar sign one zero one equals six five. We'll see that the laser is busy uploading this new parameter. On my computer, it takes about five to 10 seconds. This parameter update is covered in the user manual for both Lightbird and Laser Gerbil. For those that like to know what that command is, it's the step counts per millimeter for the motor located on the rotary attachment. The step count is different between the rotary attachment and the motor that we just disconnected. Next step, I'll enable the rotary in Lightburn and go up to the rotary setup near the top of the screen. Key things that we wanna take a look at here is enable the rotary, make sure that roller is selected. We do wanna mirror the output to the rotary and have a setting of about 52 millimeters per rotation and the roller diameter of 16.399 millimeters. With these settings in place, hit OK. And the last part in step five is to go to the start from area and change from absolute coordinates to current position. This isn't necessary, but I like to have this selected when I hit start on a project, the laser immediately starts from, of course, its current position without having to turn the rollers thinking it's moving the gantry crane into position. Step 5.5 is to manually rotate the artwork or the design in light burn. When I grab a corner and start to rotate it, I can see I might have difficulty perfectly rotating my artwork 90 degrees. If I press and hold the shift key, I see that it now clicks in 15 degree increments, making it very easy to rotate my artwork 90 degrees. I can now move my artwork closer to the start point where the laser is currently located. If I zoom in on my screen, we'll see that this small crosshair with the red dot, that is the current position of the laser module. In the past, I went up to this rotate box and typed in 90 degrees minus to rotate it counterclockwise. I found that no matter what I did, my design always came out in a mirrored image flipped. I have a couple of tips and tricks to get you up and running quickly and smoothly. The first one being, remember to move the laser module off of the X axis. About five millimeters is all that is needed. 
During the engraving process, when the laser module is traversing back and forth, if it's too close to the homing limit switch and it bumps into that limit switch, the machine will stop and there will be an error code that is thrown up in your Lightburn software. If at any time the machine or the computer stops responding, power down the laser machine, exit out of the Lightburn software, and most of all, disconnect the USB communication cable. Communications start with the USB cable as soon as it's plugged into the computer, whether or not the laser machine is on or off. Wait about 30 seconds and reconnect the USB cable. Start up the Lightburn software and power on the laser machine. The next tip is to follow the instructions in step number five. Just want to reiterate that very quickly. And for the last tip, when you're done using your rotary, don't forget to navigate over to the console tab in Lightburn and change that parameter dollar sign 101 equals change that back from 65 to 80. That's also highlighted in the user manual that comes with the rotary attachment. I had a lot of fun creating this content for you. I hope that you find it useful. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Until next time, have fun, be safe, and most of all, be creative.